Hi friends, how is everybody? Hope uh, all are fine, doing well, enjoying the lectures. Uh, in the chapter on morphology, uh, up till now we have finished two topics. We've done the discussion on root and the discussion on stem. Right, I hope uh, you must have started solving the MCQs on these topics. Now, continuing with our discussion on morphology, right? We are going to discuss today the structure of leaf, right? Root ho gaya apna. We finish with stem, and today we talk about leaf, right? Uh, the discussion on leaf uh, we will divide into three parts. Right. In the first part, we'll discuss what are the characteristics of a leaf and what are the parts of a leaf. Second part, we'll discuss three features of a leaf, and the last part, we'll discuss modifications of leaf. So, hopefully, in a very small, concise discussion, we can finish off the discussion on leaves today. Right? Ready? We we'll start. Okay. So what is a leaf, right? Leaf is uh, a dorsi ventrally compressed. Uh, let me change my pointer. Yes, it's a dorsi ventrally compressed lateral appendage of stem produced at the nodes and is specialized to perform photosynthesis, right? So what is dorsi ventral? I told you. Whatever structure has got two surfaces, dorsal surface and a ventral. Right now, dorsal mesha upper wala surface, ventral mesha niche wala surface. Right now, apni body hai. Right now, if I lie prone on the ground, right now, ulta me so jata on ground pe, to the front portion, right? Niye wala portion is ventral, my back portion becomes dorsal. Okay, so a dorsi ventral structure compressed, that is, it is compressed from both sides. Chapta lateral appendage, lateral comes from the sides. Appendage, I have told you, whatever comes from the main body is called as an appendage. So, leaf is coming from the main body of stem, that's why leaf is an appendage, flower is an appendage. Yeah, so, these are all appendages. So, a dorsi ventrally compressed. Lateral appendage of stem produced at the nodes. We've already done that, right? Leaves are always coming at the nodes and specialized to perform photosynthesis, right? Or we know a few things about that that uh, the angle between the leaf and the stem is known as the axil, and what we find in the axil is always the axillary bud. Okay, now what are the characteristics of leaf? Thin expanded green structure, fine, develops from the primordium, right? Now, now what is the primordium? Now, primordium is a part of the apical meristem from which the leaf develops, right? Now, uh, up ahead, you know, maybe uh, in the next chapter, uh, we will discuss about tissues, right? Now, morphology discuss kare, uske baad log anatomy discuss karenge, right? Now, so we will discuss about meristematic tissue. So, apical meristem, tip pe jo meristem hota hai. Wahase, you have a small dimension which starts to develop as a leaf in the initial stage. So that part from which that develops is called as the leaf primordium. The green color is due to the presence of chlorophyll pigment. Right now, one of the pigments uh, in the uh, leaf, right now, in the chloroplast. Right, you know, the chloroplast is a structure which is present in the leaves, and within the chloroplast, uh, there is you know grana and stroma within the grana done in lower standards 10th or 9th mein padha hoga, coin stack of coins like structure within that you've got thylakoids thylakoid mein, quantosomes and within the quantosomes you've got a lot of pigments basically four types of pigments right maybe in photosynthesis we can talk about what are these four types of pigments but one of the main pigments the main pigment is chlorophyll right chlorophyll just uh, you know for your knowledge chlorophyll is of seven types 
seven types of chlorophyll chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c chlorophyll d chlorophyll e fg nahi right bacterio chlorophyll and chlorobium chlorophyll bacterio and chlorobium chlorophyll ye saat type ke chlorophyll hote hain right usme se chlorophyll a is the most essential pigment right chlorophyll a is the most essential pigment because what is the role of these pigments to absorb light that is the role of the pigment to take up light right but it is only chlorophyll a which can convert this light into chemical energy right ye photosynthesis ke so baki sare to sirf absorb karte hain and they give it to chlorophyll a right the process you learn in photosynthesis right so the green color is because of this chlorophyll pigment right now please ha huh? स्टूडेंट्स बहुत कंफ्यूज करते हैं क्लोरोप्लास्ट क्या है क्लोरोफिल क्या है द एंटायर सेल ऑर्गेनल इज क्लोरोप्लास्ट उसके अंदर द पिगमेंट इज क्लोरोफिल द लाइट इज टेकन अप बाय क्लोरोफिल एक्सोजेनस इज ओरिजिन राइट ना यानी कि इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम आउटर टिश्यूज राइट ना तो स्टेम के आउटर टिश्यूज में से आ रहा है इट इज बोर्न ऑन द स्टेम एट द नोड राइट ना वेयर इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द स्टेम एट द पॉइंट कॉल्ड एज नोड and the distance between two successive nodes is called as internode an axillary bud is often present in the axil of each leaf we spoken about what is axillary bud right now abhi to tum log champ ho iske andar it has limited growth right right leaves cannot grow unlimited see stem has a apical bud and the apical bud has apical meristem which allows it unlimited growth राइट ना सी ये एनिमल और प्लांट ग्रोथ के बीच में डिफरेंस होता है राइट एनिमल ग्रोथ जो है ना वो सर्टन एज तक ग्रोथ है उसके बाद वो ग्रोथ प्रोसेस खत्म हो जाता है राइट ना सी यू आर अबाउट फिफ्टीन और सिक्सटीन राइट ना सो यू आर इन द स्टेज ऑफ ग्रोथ आई एम वे पास द स्टेज ऑफ ग्रोथ राइट ना आई एम इन टू माई सेने सेंस राइट ना अभी बुढ़ापा इज कमिंग ना ओके सो अब you are in the stage of growth so you will keep on developing you will find changes in yourself right you will keep find yourself height and weight increasing but up to a certain age right round 20 21 your growth finishes but plants may it is indeterminate it keeps on growing thoda thoda karke it keeps on growing that's called indeterminate growth right lekin leaf ke andar chuke leaf ke apex mein there is no apical bud राइट right? ये ये जो अपेक्स है ना अपेक्स यहां पर देर इज नो अपाइकल बट दैट्स व्हाई लीफ के नॉट ग्रो अनलिमिटेड दैट्स व्हाई इट हैज गॉट लिमिटेड ग्रोथ राइट सो डिफरेंट स्पीशीज विल हैव डिफरेंट साइजेस ऑफ लीफ दैट इज अनदर मैटर बट लेकिन जितना उसका साइज है उतना ही ग्रो करेगा उसके आगे ग्रो नहीं करेगा राइट right? ये बात स्टेम में नहीं आई थी ये बात रूट में नहीं आई थी क्योंकि रूट के अपेक्स में एरिया ऑफ मेरी स्टेम था डिवीजन स्टेम के अपेक्स में अपाइकल बट था अगेन रीजन ऑफ ग्रोथ राइट आई होप दिस पॉइंट इज clear right so these are the characteristics of a leaf theek hai okay now what are the parts of a leaf the leaf has three parts hypopodium mesopodium and epipodium let's have a look right now i can see this is the stem here the part of the leaf which is attached to the stem right now leaf ka wo part jo usko stem se attach karta hai that is called as the leaf base right leaf base is called hypopodium hypopodium i'll just show you the previous slide again just one minute ye dekho can you see leaf base is called hypopodium right if you want we can you know draw this small uh, structure right now you can pause it just make the parts of a leaf it will be a very good uh, useful uh, reference to you right now leaf base hypopodium hai can you see this is the petiole the stalk of the leaf this is mesopodium and this expanded green structure is the lamina which is called as the epipodium so hypopodium mesopodium and epipodium these are the three parts of the leaf that we are going to discuss now hypo meso epi right now so pehle hypo so the part of the leaf attached to the stem or the branch is known as leaf base so this is the leaf base here it may assume different shapes in different parts right now ab dekho example diya pe 
in some leguminous plants legumes you know na legumes groundnut right na they are legume right chana dal is all legumes right na the leaf blade leaf blade you know actually leaf base hona chahiye right? i mean leaf base may become swollen which is called pulvinous look at this very closely can i see the leaf base a little swollen here dikh raha hai yahan pe swelling this swelling is called as the pulvinous pulvinous i'll give you one small example uh you one of the touch me not plant right now mimosa right now why it's called touch me not you touch the plant it droops down the leaves will droop down right now us hota kya usme when the leaves are drooping down right now to uska jo leaf base hota hai usme pulvinous hota hai usme pulvinous hai ab wo pulvinous ke andar jo water channels hai wo ekdam tight hote hai तो उसकी वजह से द लीफ इज टॉट एकदम टाइट होता है एकदम वंस यू टच देर इज अ चेंज इन द वॉटर कॉलम्स बिकॉज ऑफ दैट टच दैट सेंसिटिविटी इज देयर सो द वॉटर कॉलम फॉल्स डाउन अब यहां से थोड़ा सा लैक्सिटी आती है थोड़ा सा ढीला पड़ जाता है सो व्हाट हैपेंस इट इट ड्रूप्स डाउन राइट ना सो दैट ड्रूपिंग डाउन इज आल्सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ द पल्विनस देयर जस्ट एन एग्जांपल टू गिव यू हाउ द पल्विनस विल ऑपरेट राइट ना सो द लीफ बेस इन लेग्यूम्स सो यहां पर स्टूडेंट्स जितने भी लेग्यूम्स आगे आएंगे अपने को लिस्ट मालूम होना चाहिए कि लेग्यूमिनस के एग्जांपल क्या है क्योंकि एग्जाम में वो लोग क्या करेंगे कि तुमको दे देंगे फॉर एग्जांपल ग्राउंड नट फॉर एग्जांपल वो लेग्यूम है तो उसके लीफ में क्या है राइट ना तो यू शुड बी एबल टू मेक दैट कनेक्शन राइट ना ग्राउंड नट लेग्यूम है तो लेग्यूम का लीफ फेस शुड बी पल्बेनस ऐसा okay a pulvinous will be found in for example char example de denge you have to select a leguminous plant from that that way in monocots the leaf base expands ye dekho right na ab ye dekho this is the leaf base ye stem hai right na ab can i see the leaf base becoming more expansive yahan se lamina start ho gaya ye leaf base hai pura green part dikh raha hai wo pura leaf base hai and aisa expand hoga ki wo pura कवर करेगा जो कवर करेगा इसलिए उसको हम लोग क्या बोलेंगे शीट राइट शीट इज समथिंग कवर्स सो ऐसे लीफ बेस को वी विल से इट्स अ शीथिंग लीफ बेस शीथिंग सो दिस इज अ फीचर फाउंड इन मोनोकॉट्स राइट आइदर कंप्लीट और पार्शियल इट कुड बी डिपेंडिंग ऑन स्पीशीज टू स्पीशीज लीव्स ऑफ सम प्लांट्स तीसरा वाला देखो पजेस अ पेयर ऑफ लैटरल आउटग्रोथ्स एट द बेस कैन यू सी द स्मॉल पॉइंटेड आउटग्रोथ्स एट द बेस they are called stipules right now so if stipules are present the plant is a the leaf is a stipulate leaf right now agar nahi hai absent hai so it is a x stipulate without stipule right they are usually green and plant ka i told you funda ekdam clear hai right now green hai matlab photosynthesis karne ka root leaf kuch bhi ho right now if you are green you have to do photosynthesis right now they also sometimes become protective they can become spine right now Uh, आगे अपने को मॉडिफिकेशन में काफी सारे स्टिप्यूल का मॉडिफिकेशन भी आएगा स्टिप्यूल कैन बिकम टेंड्रिल स्टिप्यूल कैन बिकम अ स्पाइन फॉर प्रोटेक्शन फॉर रिड्यूसिंग ट्रांसपिरेशन स्टिप्यूल कैन बिकम अ लीफ लाइक स्ट्रक्चर पूरा लीफ रिड्यूस हो जाएगा स्टिप्यूल जो है वो फोटोसिंथिस का काम करेगा सो so, ये स्टिप्यूल के मॉडिफिकेशन आगे अपने को आएंगे राइट ना सो वॉट आर द पार्ट ऑफ अ लीफ हाइपोपोडियम मीसोपोडियम एपीपोडियम लीफ बेस के ये तीन और मॉडिफिकेशन या तो पल्विनस हो जाएगा राइट right ना you can have a sheathing leaf base or you can have a stipules at the leaf base going to mesopodium right now mesopodium mein the part of the leaf which is connecting can i see this part the dark green wala part that's called as a petiole and the petiole is also called as mesopodium so if petiole is present it is called as a petiolate leaf if the petiole is absent it is called as non petiolate or sessile non petiolate or sessile right now similarly jab flower ka niche ka stalk hota hai usko pedicel bolte hain agar pedicel hai to pedicelate nahi hai to sessile so sessile is a general term right jab bhi stalk like structure is absent we use the term sessile okay petioles usually cylindrical but it can be hollow as in case of papaya it can be tubular it can be flat right फंक्शन ऑफ पीटीओल इज टू रेज द लेमाइना राइट ना जितना पीटीओल बड़ा होगा उतना वो लेमाइना को आगे पुश करेगा सो दैट इट गेट्स मैक्सिमम एक्सपोजर फॉर सनलाइट फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस राइट ओके 
एंड इट कैन ऑल्सो हेल्प इन कंडक्शन यहाँ पे जाइलम फ्लोएम तो स्टेम में है सो लीफ को तो लीफ और स्टेम के बीच में हु इज द वाया मीडिया फॉर कंडक्शन ऑफ वॉटर एंड फूड इट्स गोड बी द पीटीओल राइट ना सो दैट्स द मीसोपोडियम एंड फाइनली कमिंग टू दी एपीपोडियम लार्जेस्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ग्रीन फ्लैट पार्ट राइट ना फोटोसिंथेसिस एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस स्टोमेटा यहां पर एंड ट्रांसपेरेशन राइट ट्रांसपेरेशन भी मैंने स्टेम के टाइम पे बात किया था तुमको राइट वॉटर स्टोर्ड नहीं होता है प्लांट में रूट एब्सॉर्ब वॉटर स्टेम ट्रांसलोकेट्स वॉटर राइट ना इट गिव इट टू द लीफ लीफ विल यूज इट फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस और जो बच जाएगा उसका हो जाएगा ट्रांसपेरेशन थ्रू द स्टोमेटा राइट ना सो लीफ का काम है ट्रांसपेरेशन और वो ही स्टोमेटा से इट इज एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस ऑल्सो राइट सो द लेमाइना हैज गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन राइट ना सो लेट से ये लीफ है सिंस माइन माई हाइंड लीव द लीफ राइट ना विद द लीफ हैव टू सर्फेसिस राइट ना डॉर्सल वेंट्रल राइट डॉर्सल सर्फेस वेंट्रल सर्फेस ठीक है ना If the structure of the dorsal surface and the ventral surface are different from each other, right? Now we say it is a dorsi-ventral leaf. Anatomy में जब हम लोग करेंगे हम लोग ऊपर और नीचे दोनों का structure पढ़ेंगे, right? So if structure of both the surfaces is different, right? Then it is a dorsi-ventral leaf, which we find in case of dicot plants, which we find in case of dicot plants. If both the surfaces are similar in structure we say they are iso bilateral right na iso same right na bilateral dono taraf yani dono taraf ye structure same hai right iso ka matlab hota hai same right you must have used the word isotope right na isosceles triangle iso is same okay so iso bilateral leaf which is a feature of monocot plants right na right okay you can have a centric or cylindrical leaves also they look like this right now you can't distinguish ke kaun sa surface dorsal hai kaun sa ventral hai aise leaves ko hum log centric ya cylindrical leaves bolte hain theek hai the leaf lamina varies greatly in shape margin and apex i'll just what so much for you ye dekho leaf lamina can you see the leaf lamina ekdam different types hai right na shape alag margin alag apex alag ye alag alag margin ke types maine aapko bataye hain right now not there for studying just a statement to explain the nickel how they can be different from each other the lamina right so what are the parts of a leaf hypopodium mesopodium and epipodium right now so apne do parts yahan pe khatam hote hain right now we've done characteristics of a leaf and we've done what are the parts of a leaf in the next video we will take up three important features of the leaf right okay guys thank you all Thank you so much